<laughs> Welcome to episode number 65 of the BEBC yes. podcast. It's Christmas time, fellas. We figured out what happened to the ref. <laughs> <laughs> A little holiday cheer for you to get this thing started. Oh, oh my. Take his pants this morning. <laughs> That is the Christmas goat. Episode 65. Wow. We got to thinking what 65 what number is, is. And then Mark had a, a revelation. Yesterday at the game, there was an elderly couple sitting behind James and I. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I apologize because I did not get their name, but they were the most, they were fanatics. They were fired up. They were vocal. It was and a lot cowbell. of fun. And yeah. he was Allen class of 1965. And so, in honor of him, welcome. To and he scored the last. He, he scored the last. What was that? She said she had a picture of him scoring the last touchdown of the season that year. So I again don't know who he was. Maybe. If, but some yes, yeah, so that's your quiz audience. Yeah, tell us, well, tell us who that was fellow was. The number fifty-two number on. So they may have okay. a grandson on the. Team. That could be too. Yeah. So if anybody knows who that gentleman is. This podcast and his honor him, and we'd love to know. So track him down and find him, and we got great listeners. They can figure fun. it out. He was fun. Fifty-two. Sam Susnaros. All four of them. Uh, all four of them. <laughs> and Timothy Whoa. Brantley. But who Timothy was that? <laughs> Who's this? The, the great ghost. <laughs> Somebody has appeared that we don't know. <clears throat> Nolan Schrader, welcome to the podcast. I'm back. Yay! I'm going to give you a standing. Oh no! Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Never mind. How about you? Just a round of applause. A round of a round of applause. Uh-huh. Welcome back. Seal of approval. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving. I did. Yeah. I tell you what. This, yeah. we, this year's Lots been so weird, and and we're going to talk about Thanksgiving here because all of us are healthy and happy, and you know, so far so good, and yeah. and we had good Thanksgivings. I think Nolan was in Colorado. In the snow. Yep. Seeing with the, boy. the boy. Cold. Seeing the boy. Took the boy and the wife. Took the wife and the daughter with you. Yep. So you had everybody. Yeah, we did. I was Colorado. Even though we weren't supposed to. Yeah. According to Colorado rules, whatever. we're not supposed to. You yeah, whatever. Me. No, it was great. It was fun. I mean, it's... Uh, there. Colorado in the winter is awesome. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was green when we landed up in the mountains, and uh, good Lord took care of that real quick. <laughs> Where'd you, How many, where'd you uh, land? Well, DIA in, in oh, okay. Denver, there okay. were you know there there was no snow on the ground on the at foot all. Foothills, yeah, on yeah, the foothills and stuff, and you know, just on the snow, on just at the peaks and stuff where the snow. And then I think the, that night it actually started. We had flurries, and then one night we had eight inches of snow, and then the two days later it snowed all day, and they had a grand total of ten. So we had yeah. during that time we were up there, we had ten inches of snow, and it was. It was just awesome. And where, she, where, where did y'all go? We stayed in Frisco. Cole okay. lives in Dillon. Got it. And works in Silverthorne. And so we were, you know, we we're right there. Those three towns. And then Breckenridge is here. And, Keystone. You know, Keystone. There. Keystone, yeah. A-Basin. Yeah. Vail's just down the highway a little yeah. bit and stuff. So. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. It, it, it's, a, it's a little sweet spot. And it was, we had a good time. It was fun. We had a great little Thanksgiving. Didn't do a turkey. We did ham. <laughs> because we were not in our place, and but it was fun. There's nothing wrong with ham. Absolutely, yeah. there's nothing yeah. wrong with ham. Yeah, that little smoker over there had turkey on one side, ham on the other. Turkey on one side, ham on the other. It was awesome. <laughs> but so I, we ham. stayed in this. We stayed in this burbo. I'm not kidding you. It may have been a thousand square foot. <laughs> it was nice, hmm. but they have it on the. They have it on the market. How much for a thousand square feet? Oh, let me guess. One point two. What? Nine hundred and ninety it's eight hundred and ninety one dollars a square foot. <laughs> That's criminal. Welcome to Colorado people. Isn't That's that crazy? criminal. Holy cow. Makes you wish you had bought a condo back up there like Well they said they ago. said as of like three or four years ago you probably gotten that for less than half. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Dad, what about you, man? Uh we had we, standard went to the in laws and uh had all our boys there, and Marisa and Maggie, which is the star of the show. That's the that's the grandchild, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, she uh, just keeps changing, and it's so cool to watch that. So she's 
11 months old in a week and uh, we're waiting on first steps stuff like that you know it's just cool and we had a good time not I think my in-laws had two family friends and then we had like 12 people so total cool. not too bad well James you were supposed to go out of town yeah I was supposed but to but you're to, here I was so supposed you... to go to Arkansas and, and whoopee Arkansas fell through because some extended family had had the Rona or something and, uh -oh. and my daughter and, and her kids and her husband said you know what we're not making the trip from Atlanta just to you know, possibly get the the disease so I said yes football game because ah, yeah. you were out up until <clears throat> yeah until Tuesday, like Tuesday Tuesday yeah, Tuesday. Oh, yeah. well see you yeah. would have missed a lot oh my gosh <laughs> I'd have, felt, I'd have felt like Nolan did. I'd have been yeah. watching it from some remote room in the, in the, plane. Yeah, in the trailer in, in Arkansas. <laughs> Dave, what about you? Oh, we were here. Um, I had both my sons, well, one getting over the coronavirus. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. And uh, the other one supposedly just getting it. Ah. Um, so neither one of them showed up to the... Um, festivities, but you know, my mom and uh, my sister's brother and her, his two sons, uh, came, and then her friend from out of town surprised her. Yeah, you know, showed up, you know, just surprised her at the front door. Did Darla. you just say his sister's brother? Yeah, I, I, I did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I'm from Arkansas. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> like, Wouldn't that be your brother? No, uh, no, it's uh, my wife's brother. <laughs> My wife's brother. I was confused. I was like, yes. And then Darla showed up. And then Darla showed up. And we're going to try to call Darla here in a little bit. Because Darla, this was her first trip inside Eagle Stadium. Yeah. And she had quite the experience yesterday from beginning to end. And so we'll, we'll talk about all that here in a little bit. Hopefully we can get her on the phone. She doesn't know we're going to call her, but we're, we're going to try that. So there's Thanksgiving. <laughs> and it was a little different because it's 2020 and everything's different in 2020. And it's, does anybody else have this fatigue? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Is everybody yeah. tired of it? Yeah. 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 Uh, it, it, it was interesting to, to go through that. But the best, I say the best part about yesterday, one of the, the great Balding Eagle traditions. I got to stop right there before I forget, though, because <laughs> Neil Riddick put us, put us on notice yesterday right after the game saying that we'd explain the last play of the game, which we'll get to. Mm -hmm. But he said, in his thing, he says something about just listen to the Balding Eagles podcast and they'll explain it all. I don't know about six or no seven pressure. six or seven comments now and somebody goes, Who's Balding Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> it's like perfect. So, like I said, uh, wow. three fans. That's funny. I was just rolling. I was like, Yeah, that's kind of what we think sometimes too. But one of our traditions <laughs> that we do every year is is one of our tailgates towards the latter part of the year, and this, this year it even worked out better since it was yep. so late in the year, it got cooler yesterday, was it was time for Dave's Chili. Ooh, mm. yummy. And I tell you what, I, I was thinking about this this morning when we were doing it. If, if we're fortunate in our group that if, if you need good food provided, you, you can call up Dave, you can call up Nolan, you can call up Thad. And if you need great condiments brought, you you, you call me, you call James, you call Alan. <laughs> <laughs> but we're fortunate to have it that way. We compliment each other. And yesterday was Dave's chili. And any chili that takes over a day to cook, you know has got to be good. With 12 pounds of meat, no less. Oh, my gosh. Y'all think about that. 12 pounds of meat in this chili. It was rocking. It wasn't it, though? It was spicy. But not too spicy. It just yeah, it was perfect. Got to have a touch sniffle. of heat to it. Yeah. Just oh the, yeah. You got the little sniffle going. That was a, that, that was, was all. That was How all many you peppers did you use, Dave? Twenty eight. Twenty eight peppers. Twelve pounds of beef. Yeah. All beef. Yeah. yeah. All beef. Different cuts. Yeah. In many hours of preparing it, and I know, you know, we had a we had a big tailgate yesterday because the the right clan from Scotland or. Utah showed up with yeah. one or the other. It was a great tailgate. It yeah. was. And with it, all 72 it, of their kids. <laughs> it was it, good seeing the boys, though. It was. The Alan. Mormon Tabernacle Choir. That's right. <laughs> singing. Yeah, singing the National Anthem. We should have had Harvard. them sing. Yeah. The DeWitts were there. Alan had his five kids yeah. plus one grandson. The DeWitts came by. Darla was there. Mm -hmm. 
And then the full. Your foremost, daughter showed up. My daughter was there for briefly for a little bit, which always. And adds. the Millers came by for a little quick shout out. Yeah. yeah. So was nice. good was, to see them. It was almost normal, in the almost. sense that there was a that was the most people we'd had at a tailgate all year, and it was a lot yeah. of fun. Now it was a little chilly, but ah, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> and, and we can't. Forget it warmed that. up though. It did warm up. <laughs> we can't. We can't forget the second star of the show, and I'm going to use the Green Mile reference. Boss, I be smelling me some cornbread. That stuff was good, <laughs> yeah, brother. It's good. We did have cornbread. Some Fritos and cornbread, some good cornbread. So we had cornbread. we had our pregame chili meal, which was per, it was a perfect day for it. You know, it had a little brisk wind out of the north, and uh, temperature was just right for that. You know, because usually a lot of times when we try to do it, it's eighty degrees because it's you know yeah. late October, early November, and it's, and it's still just warm. Uncomfortable. So, kudos to that. And then, and you had your little brow blocker screen set up, which was nice. Thank I you, did Mark. put the screen up yesterday. Thank you, Mark. That helped. We need a new one. But. Yeah, well. Um, and then there was a game. Wow, was there? And man, oh man, do we have a lot to talk about? Yeah, we've been uh, wow. we've been called out by <laughs> Mister Green. Said he wants more quarter by quarter breakdown analysis. Yeah. Well, we and and I don't know how much depth we can give but we'll try but yeah there there's there's a lot to dissect in this one and i, I want to go back to last week when we we were talking about prosper and we were wondering which prosper team were you going to get mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. were you going to get the team that you know beat trinity earlier in the year were you going to get the team that gave up a lead to guyer were you going to give it a team that just seemed to lay down last week against brass lost well, yeah. by 17. got throttled and so you're like okay which prosper team is going to show up because everybody thought you know much like last year this this was going to be a pretty good team that they will challenge you are they going to be the team to take over the district mm, maybe not because of guyer being in there because everybody beginning of the year Everybody's Everybody was darling team, was, yeah. was Geyer, yeah. and and Allen was like, okay, they'll they'll do, they'll be fine, but they'll be behind Geyer. Yeah. Well, I think everybody realized Geyer isn't what everybody thought Geyer was going to be, <clears throat> and Prosper, you know, was was rolling along, and then, you know, boom, they lose on the last play of the game to to Geyer, and then they, they're sort of forgotten because they've yeah. got that one district loss, but they you know they they still have a chance. Especially the way Geyer's been playing up and yeah. down lately, you never knew what you were going to get. Um, so there was a lot of unknowns about this, and I was talking to somebody in the parking lot yesterday uh, before everybody got there, and I said, "Well, it's, it'll depend what Geyer team shows up." And they looked straight at me and said, "Depends what Allen team shows up." <laughs> true. I was like, "Well, very true. There might be some truth to that too." Yep. So you had a very important district game. Um, and again, most people don't care about streaks and all that stuff, too. I think the media drives it. I mean, we don't talk about it, and I don't even think about it. Other than not having been beat in your home stadium, I don't – the number of wins doesn't matter to me. Yeah. And the number of, you know, regular season wins and all, I don't pay any attention to that. I read it in the paper, so I know about it. Yeah, the only time that I see is when, you know, when the media brings it back up. Yeah, because yeah. I don't think I don't think we've ever talked yeah. about it. You know, that, that it's what they do, though. I mean, well, they've got to sell. Yeah. Yeah. That feeling yesterday after Prosper scored with a minute left or so was kind of like sitting there watching Westlake walk away with that win. That's when you felt it. I don't know yeah. about y'all, but then you're yeah. like, oh. Yeah. I, I yeah. find myself sitting just like this, you know, leaning back and yeah. like, wait, Mark and I were doing this exact same thing. <laughs> it was like. That Westlake game. Yeah. It, you it, did was, kinda, uh, it was an empty feeling. Yeah. When on that last Prosper drive, I kept expecting, okay, defense, step up, defense, step up. And they hit that long pass over to the home sideline and, and – yeah. Hang on, we gotta go back. Rewind, car. Dude, okay, all right. Well, we gotta go two no. hours back. Leave me, brother. Leave me. Because I <laughs> here, kitty, kitty. That'll be the thing. Here, here kitty, kitty. And, and honestly, yesterday, about middle of the fourth quarter, um, I was wondering how this podcast was going to go because there was a lot of frustration. With so many different things going on yesterday, I'm like, you know, we, we try to be positive night. and ooh, ooh. we try to be uplifting. Can we talk about the refs? <laughs> we will talk about the refs. That's number four here. There was so many things, and I was like, golly, these guys are going to be so negative, and I'm going to have to do something that, like, 
No. What good happened? What good happened? And you're never negative. And we're yeah, we're never <laughs> we never we never <laughs> we never complain, we never moan, we never gripe. We, you know. But there was I was just like, what are we gonna do here? And it's amazing how a minute now it was probably ten minutes of real life time, but a minute of game time can change your whole perspective. Fifty seven seconds, baby. So we it seemed we, like thirty minutes on a plane. We have a game. We have a game and and Alan was sitting with his son's social distance row in front of us, and, and yep. by golly, Alan lost the coin toss. Yeah. It's like a shocker. You're like, oh, my gosh. So yeah, Alan turned, turned around and said, well, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. <laughs> and, yep. and the foreshadowing on that statement now is, is yep. unbelievable because we lost the coin toss. There was a pretty good win coming out of the north, so yep. Prosper took the win. <clears throat> Alan took the ball. They run three plays, get a first down. And then the first pass of the game, Booty goes back, rolls to his left. He kind of waits, waits. And that's the key. Yeah. Is he waited and waited. he waited and he waited too long and he tried to throw an out. I but when you, yeah, he just ran down the receiver and crossed his body. Yeah. And it was way too late. DB you know, jumped it. Mr. DB jumped it and intercepted it and they got the ball at, at midfield. You know, it could have, it was just a hand away from being. Taking it all the way too. Yeah. yeah, and so you're like, Ugh. you know, that's not the way you want to start. It, it was a foreshadow of things to come for the passing game. Yeah, especially typically because if, if okay, you've lost, you don't get the second half, the ball first, the second half. You want to go down and score. You want to, you want to, you that's want right. them to chase you the whole game because yep. you know they're going to get the ball first, the second half. You want to present yourself. Okay, we're going to score. You're going to have to chase us. Yeah, they mess with our formula. Yeah. Score last in the first half, <laughs> score first in the second half. And so, boom, we throw an interception. Um, again, I think that was just a quarterback decision way too late. Should have thrown it away or yeah. or run with it either, either way. But that was not a pass that should have been thrown, in my opinion. But Prosper being thankful and, and generous. Yeah. Gets Very the generous. ball. They run two plays, and then Jackson Barry, who who's a pretty good quarterback, he's actually committed to Southern yep. Utah, which I didn't know that was a college, okay. but it is. Um, and he he tries to throw a deep out to the left side of the field, and, and it was a very deep from where he was. And the guy who to me has the coolest name on the on the Allen mm -hmm. team Sign. that I that I can pronounce. Sign Shuba. Sign Makes a diving interception. Number 20. Yeah, that was a good play. Jumps the route, <clears throat> and like, you're like, whew, you know, okay, good. Okay, even. even. <laughs> he Check. picks it off Check. at the Allen 39 um, on a very good play. I mean, that's you yep. want your DBs to make plays, and they made one. And you're like, that's exciting because now we've traded interceptions. We're back to square one. Let's just yeah. start this thing over. And <clears throat> then Allen does what Allen does. They go 14 plays. 61 yards, um, and Booty scores on a four-yard run. Yeah. Combination of pass and run in there. And Prosper's defense was only given up up until last week. I didn't check it after the Braswell game. They were only giving up 18 points a game, for, which for high school. That's pretty good. In this district, you know, they're playing the same people that you're playing. They've only, they're only giving up. they got a trinity. Better than schedule. our average. Yeah, it is better than our average. <clears throat> uh, but with a good combination of pass and run. Allen drives the length of the field, scores a touchdown. You're like, okay, no more mistakes. Let's just do that, and we'll be fine. Because now you're ahead. You're not be. You're you're the person being chased, and so Allen's got yep. the lead. But as as things would happen, well, uh, you you come up with the question. Okay, what's the defense going to be able to do against them? Because we haven't seen anything yet. Other than the intercept, intercept. Yep. And the answer was, <laughs> again, it, the well, we'll get to to where the, the the there's really to me there's two halves here that you got to kind of look at because the first half to me and the second half are very different in the way they played out. And that fourth mm -hmm. quarter was, yeah, good lord, you know that was a DeSoto Allen fourth quarter game if there ever was one, but. Uh, Prosper gets the ball and goes 12 plays, and that's methodically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 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 some run. It's a lot of short passes. Yeah, 
It's a lot of conversions on third down. <laughs> so you got to give the defense credit for getting to third down. But at the end of the day, they drive down the field and Prosper scores um, on the touchdown pass, and they tie it up at seven. And you're like, okay. They punch back. You got a seven to seven game. What can you do? Um, and the answer is nothing. <laughs> you get yeah. the ball. Yeah. Um, you run six plays, and then you have to punt. And so, that, and they they said, okay, we can do that. <laughs> well, let's 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 talk. <clears throat> First quarter, we're going oh. into the win, and yep. historically that makes it tougher. Yep. yep. And so when we get the win, we think, okay, all right, you know, this thing should should happen, and it didn't. They kept the ball most of the second quarter. They did, and that's yeah. that's one of the things I noticed too. Prosper wasn't in a hurry to run plays. They weren't doing the flower mound Marcus or yeah. other teams that have run the you know, the play clock down to five seconds for yeah. the snap. But it wasn't a, a hurry up off. Yeah, just a normal means. get yeah. the sign from the the sideline and you know, go through your <clears throat> reads and Yeah. And go. So at, at you know, fifteen or ten seconds they're snapping the ball. Yeah. But the, to me that's if I was an opposing coach, that's the way you beat Allen is you slow it down because you limit the, opportunity. the opportunities yeah. for the Allen offense. Right. And that's the way you'll beat them. You'll beat Allen in a low-scoring game. If you try to outscore them, it might be a little difficult. Yeah. Because it's they, they can certainly score, as you know. Well, and the other thing that I noticed from through the first few series, their DBs, corners, were, were playing super aggressive and almost daring the refs to throw the flag. You know, hitting <clears> the guys, <throat> you know, almost seemingly incidental hits, but big hits to disrupt. And... They weren't being called. Yep. And they were not being called. And that gets to the second quarter. Prosper ended up punting after we punted. Allen gets the ball back, and there was – and you have a picture. And Joseph Hoyt actually tweeted the – he was up in the press box yesterday from the Dallas Morning News, and he had a video of a long pass to Blaine mm -hmm. of which the cornerback – Number eight. Clearly – and I say clearly because I watched, and he had the video of it, and I watched it several times last night, and I slowed it down, and I stopped. He used his right hand on Blaine's right shoulder yeah. to leverage himself, to reach up, and he did knock it away with his left hand, and mm -hmm. how it goes, you know, <laughs> you know, great play by three-star cornerback, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Great you got it PBU, right great yeah, pass breakup. You see yeah. it. And I was like, I tweeted back to him, I said, I'd like to disagree because to that's me, debatable. I said, take a look. Yeah, I said, that's debatable because <laughs> look at his right hand on his shoulder. He used it to get the levers to get above him and knock it away. Yeah. To me, and from, and again, we were a long way away. Yeah. But that, we all saw it. Yep. And we were looking for a flag. And the, well, and the ref had an unobstructed view to his shoulder. Yeah. Because he's on that side. Yeah, right, right, right there. there. Mm -hmm. In fact, James, James printed it out. And if, if you want, if you can't find the video on Joseph Ford's Twitter, we have the picture of it. It's hard to see from that far away. But well, yeah, of course. You can clearly see his hand. <laughs> Here, I'll be Vanna. On Blaine's shoulder. Here you go. Holding. So you Vanna going, White going, and Marcus Stewart. Keep, keep going, going. Keep going. All the way to it. There you go. You can see the hand on the shoulder as he reaches above. <laughs> So he's holding Blaine down. Oh, Lord, we're getting visualists. You like that? <laughs> Y'all don't get that content anywhere else. kind of like this going. <laughs> like, we're going to have people sitting there going, yeah. what? <laughs> Let me stop that video. No, it actually comes up. <laughs> if I was more technically capable, I'd just put the, the video in there, but I, I'm not able to. And it's out there if you want to see it. But there were several calls in that second quarter. And again, I'm, we're going to talk about the refs later, but I think it's yeah. fair to say on both sides of the ball, the refs did not have a good day. They had too much turkey. Yeah. They were trip to fanning. Trip to fanning. A couple of them looked like turkeys, too. Uh, well, yeah. and, and the exclamation point the happened at the, at the end, end of the, of the game. game to show you Clearly. how trip to fan they were. They was. It was awful. Yeah. yeah. So, side I will say this from, from a plane perspective. <laughs> no, yes. we were on a plane during the game. From a 60,000 foot when perspective. You're following a game from an airplane. Yeah, yeah <laughs> dude. There were, you know, you're, t you're right, Joseph. And, and, you know, he's got a job to do. No problem. I understand. But, you know, he kept bringing up all these plays and then showing the videos and stuff. And then when you look at it, it's like you're saying, it's like, well, dang, wait that was past wait a minute. Well, wait a second. That were, and then the one time he did bring it, well, and we're going to talk about it, obviously, <laughs> was that end of the game. That, that'll be, that's a future conversation and stuff. 
So Allen ends up punting. Prosper gets the ball. And they have a 17-play drive. Which it's painful. It's hard to sit and watch cause, because, as, as again, we're talking about slowing the game down. It's like it was, eight minutes, wasn't it? It was long. Let's see. They got the ball with um, seven something. 8.01 on the clock, and they kicked the field goal with 41 seconds. Yeah. Left. So it was you know, over seven minutes they held the ball. And Allen can't score if Allen doesn't have the ball typically. So yeah. you have defensive touchdown. Right. They kick a field goal with 41 seconds left. And you're like, okay, well, that's better than a touchdown. And, and to me, with this defense, and I think we said this last week and the week before, if you can hold people to field goals, it's mm-hmm. a victory. Mm-hmm. It's a victory because yeah. you got a, a good enough offense <clears throat> that weren't Allen doesn't kick a whole lot of field goals. Yeah, they, they score a lot of touchdowns, and so you figure, okay, that's a win. Well, and holding them to that field goal that gave me hope for the defense. You know, when yeah. you see them be able to do that, it's like, okay, they'll be all right. So Prosper kicks off. Allen gets the ball close to midfield. <laughs> And I want everybody listening to kind of keep this in mind because we talked about it before we started here. You know, you, you're not close enough for a, a field goal. Yeah. But then you have an opportunity. Okay, they're playing way, way prevent defense. You got a chance to do something with, I don't know, there was 11 seconds left and then it got down to six seconds. Yeah. The last play and you're like, okay, you just got to try something. And, you know, everybody ran deep and we ended up throwing short to Jordan and Jordan ran you know, several yards, but there was no trickery to it at all. Yeah. You know, everybody converged on Jordan, and Jordan was by himself. Well, I think earlier in the year we tried a little trickeration, and it blew up in our face, <laughs> so that may have been the last of that. And it might have been. That that might have been in the back of somebody's mind yeah. when you're thinking about this. But let's just get to the locker room. Yeah, I guess that, that could I be. Mean, you know, but but keep that in mind. And again, you're not looking at a. We've got to score to win situation right, either. Yeah. And that, that's kind of a little different than going into halftime. Yeah. So you get to halftime and Allen's behind ten to seven. And I thought these were interesting stats again. Not that anybody cares, but I we, we actually had the conversation and I, I think I looked at David. It's been a while. Or maybe Thad and said, When was the last time Allen was behalf behalf be behind, behind yeah. at <laughs> halftime? And it it actually wasn't that long ago if you talk about playoff games and everything. That mm-hmm. was the Duncanville game two years ago yeah. in the state semis. They were behind. But you got to go back to September 26th of 2014, 2014 for a regular season game the last time Allen was behind. Skyline. No, it was in actually regular season. regular season. It was actually against Marcus at Marcus, if you remember oh, that. Oh, that's right. Uh, Pierce took that. Sanders oh, was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. If I remember correctly, Dion's yep. kid and, mm-hmm. you know. They had the big tight end that went to Stanford. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And they had a lead, um, but actually lost the game 35-24, but they were ahead at halftime. So you got to go yeah. back six years. So it's been a while. Yeah. And so I think everybody was kind of like, hmm. That gum at 2020. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Isn't it the weirdest ever? And so you wonder, because as James mentioned too, the the Green Twins are getting doubled pretty much every play. Yeah. Or mugged. Yeah. Something. <laughs> something. The offensive line, as good as it is, <laughs> seem to be having trouble create, creating huge holes for the running backs. Well, um, and, and the weak side of the offensive line, because it seemed like a lot of the time they were trying to run by behind uh, the left side of the line. They were. Instead of <laughs> the right side, which, you know, with... <laughs> with Johnson and 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 Jackson, Jackson, and, Zola, Nato, Jackson and, there. and Umizola, Nato. yeah, <clears throat> you didn't see that, and you wondered, okay, what adjustments are going to be made yeah. coming out in the second half? The the first thing you're thinking, at least I was thinking, was you're down ten to seven, they get the ball, and it's critical. And whether he said it or not, I'm hearing Thad in my ear, run the ball. Well, run the ball. I I think him and Alan both, because Alan turned around and said, whatever you did in the first half, scrap it. Yep. I do remember him saying that. Because, you know, you've got seven points. And I we'd have to probably go way back um, to figure well, out the with, last time Allen had seven points. And with half. these long drives, they're eating up clock. Yeah. This game is going quick. Yep. Exactly. Um, what was it, a two-hour, 15-minute game? Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. It it wasn't, wasn't long. It wasn't long. Terribly long. It wasn't very long. So... The defense comes out, and Prosper runs another 11 plays, 
drive, but they hold them. And there's a turnover on downs. And so Allen has, you know, 84 yards to go. Yeah, deep in our, deep in our territory. And what did they do, Thad? They put seven <laughs> offensive linemen out there. <clears throat> seven. And Which must have been thrilling. The Woody Hayes and me <laughs> went ecstatic. But the the thing too that they did was they switched gears <laughs> also. You might as well say it, you had Jordan just acting like Moose Johnson for Emmett Smith. He mm -hmm. was leading through the hole and booty. We we started running the old single wing, just Ball and his blockers, the man. and Ball and his blockers. off you go. And Thad is a, and I've said this before, and he hadn't been here much this year because he works on Friday nights, but Thad loves watching the linemen in a running game. Thad's in Georgia. And I don't know if you think about Georgia football, but a lot of it is that. Yep. <laughs> you know, and that's changed some. But Even Georgia of, State football, too, right? Did, did, Thad's team? a Georgia Tech oh, fan, well, so that, that's all Tech, you need yeah, to know yeah. about running the football. Yeah. Now, that's changed a little bit, too. <clears throat> Used to be the wishbone. Paul Johnson days are over, I guess. Yeah, the flex bone or whatever they called it is gone. So Thad was like having a party back there. <laughs> and Booty and, and Johnson were the two ball carriers that whole drive. There wasn't a single pass thrown. Yeah. Uh, Allen goes 84 yards and 13 plays. And it's fun sitting sitting up high as we, we've been sitting because you can really see everything develop open and up. you can see the yep. field open up. And the minute Jordan got the ball, they were on the 17-yard line. And you saw the the play, and you saw the left side of the line crash everything down. There was nothing but, ah, you yep. know. <laughs> green grass Run and to the light, you know. <laughs> there wasn't, yeah, it was nothing but green grass, and nobody's going to catch Jordan. Nope. And so Jordan goes 17 yards for a touchdown. Allen's up 14-10. You're like, okay, they found something. Because Prosper didn't do anything defensively. They didn't change their scheme. They just tried to man up, right. but what they had on the field against seven offensive linemen, yeah, yeah. and and the Green brothers who blocked, yeah, they, they well. had the Green brothers moved yeah. to both to one side, yeah, and they were they were playing. Mm -hmm. their, it it took Prosper a while to figure it out because they were still doubling those guys. And yeah. They rolled a safety over there at least, so they at least had three guys on the two because the Greens were always on the same side of the field, and so you just had numbers, mm -hmm. and you had big boys on. Littler boys at, at some point in there. We got creative. We did. It was very creative. And, I, and I, I'll give all for kudos for doing that. Yeah. You know, he figured something out at halftime that actually worked. Straight down the field, scored, you're back up. And everybody was happy. Yeah. For that period of time. <laughs> <laughs> Except we kicked off and we for gave the ball to Prosper. And they go 12 plays, 75 yards in five Another minutes to retake. 12 play the, drive. Another yeah, 12 play painful. drive. Mm. Again, it's and I was I was trying to think this morning. Um, Allison Allen bleh, Allen hasn't given up a lot of long plays this year. If you think about it, yeah, yeah. long drives. It's it, there's been a lot of long drives, but there have not been a lot of long plays. Like right. last year, we were getting torched deep. Yep. Yeah, and so this year, it's keep everything in front. Right, and hopefully the other team has a holding penalty bend, or bend don't break. You know the incomplete pass at the wrong time type bend but don't break but and there were a couple of those yeah which helped but but you're right so it it ends up at prosper goes down scores 17 14 now you're like okay what have you got and what they had was nothing they had a punt <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're trying the same thing <clears throat> And yeah, it, and that was the point at which you run it until it doesn't work anymore, sure. and then you do something else. Yeah, well, and they went 50 yards on seven plays, but they ended up having to punt. And so Prosper gets the ball back, and thank goodness for small favors, and, and Prosper has to punt. Yeah. They only get a um, – Was that the and series – Now you're in the fourth quarter. Go ahead. The, the series that we had, the 50-yard, and we were kind of moving it down and – I think Mark leaned over and said at some point, though, that was with Wolf. Was he in the game then? And Mark said, at some point, we got to take a shot. And we dropped back. Yep. And 
how he held on to the ball, he got drilled square well, in his back. He did. And that, that, I think that was when we had to end up punting. But I think he was just looking down the side on an yeah, out pattern. And, and just, just it wasn't like there. And that sideline. set us behind the chains, yep. and which it was. broke it that kept, theory of how, lining <laughs> up and just coming at you. You had to do something different. You're right, because he did play in the third quarter. That was the last balling. drive of the third quarter. Snowballing. Yeah. He did get drilled. Yeah. I was glad to see him get up. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that sack. No, <laughs> yeah. Up. Hoyt's got it, too. And oh, my Lord. Oh, look. As yeah, soon as he kind of really it got hurt. set, got I mean, you could see the guy coming off the corner like, yeah. uh-oh. You could uh, see it yeah. before it happened. Yeah. yeah, and and Wolf didn't see him. Yeah, and Jordan went – that was Jordan's block, but Jordan went straight up to the line, and he couldn't get back in yeah. time to get even near him, and that guy just – he yeah. lit him up. So they ended up punting, um, and now you're into the fourth quarter, and you're down 17-14. So you're at the same spot you were – uh, at the end of the third quarter, and so now you've got this issue of all right, we we were able to change things up, but what Prosper did was they put everybody in the box. Then they yeah. man they yeah. manned up on the greens. Yeah, they, the deepest guy was seven yards off the ball, and they yeah. put nine in the box. So now you're now you're like okay, man on man. If anybody misses anything, they've got somebody free. Yeah, yeah. and and you're already you know you're it, it got. They they figured it out, and I, I give Prosper to me. Prosper was a well coached team. Yeah, they were very well coached. Mm -hmm. And yeah. good night. Why can't we get some big linebackers <laughs> like that? It's been the story all year. Boy, we have had that. It, it's amazing. We wonder. It's kind of like where's our tall basketball players yeah. at Allen? Yeah. But where are the big linebackers? Uh, they, the coaches had a great great game plan, and the, the boys executed it very well. They, they did. They played a great game. They yeah. they Prosper, to me they yeah. played as well as they could play. Yeah. And, and again. They don't have anybody yeah. on their team that I look at and go superstar. Right. But they got a lot of guys who play well together, yep. and they were well coached, and they executed. Yeah. You know, you will, we'll talk about the last play of the game, but that was a well executed play. If you really watch all the moving pieces that it took to make that happen, yeah. get it to the quarterback so he can make the long throw across. It was, it you was know. crazy, and it, it worked well. So kudos to those guys. Yeah. You know, and I and I'd feel bad today if I was a Prosper fan because there were a yeah. lot of things oh, yeah. that didn't go their way. I'd be either, pissed off. <laughs> but, you know, well, the quarterback, he was throwing 75% completion. Yep. And so everything was kind of clicking for him. Yep. Which they needed to win. And so Prosper gets the ball back. Basically, 11 minutes left in the third quarter. They run four plays. They have to punt. Yeah. You're like, all right. And you knew this was going to happen at some point in the game. Um, and, again, it was it was back to the seven, you know, offense. I think on this play it was the seven offensive linemen. I may be wrong. Uh, you're on your 33 yard line, and it's the toss, the, the sweep to Jordan. Mm -hmm. And Jordan does what Jordan does. He he got the corner. Um, I know there was a, a a comment on Facebook last night by an individual who said there was a clear hold on that play. I went back and looked at it, and I was I've looked at it several times, and and there might have been. Yeah. On, on the receiver, on one of their DBs. He had him inside, but he, he was kind of holding News out. flash, there's a hold on every play. And that was going to yeah. be my And comment. if you're inside the frame, it's not holding anyway. Yeah, yeah. Until they go, and if you, you don't let go, yeah. you know, right. If you hook them or something like that outside, yeah. Yeah. But Jordan gets the corner. And, and he's, you're not catching. And we've yet to see anybody catch him this catch year, him. and nobody caught him on that. So he goes 67 yards um, for a touchdown. Uh, I, I'm still marveled, and I don't know. I don't know Jordan. I don't know his family, but you know he's going to Hawaii. He's got a scholarship offer to Hawaii. He's committed yeah. to Hawaii. This kid should be getting, you know, a lot more offers. And again, I'm not saying he, yeah. he may still be. He may just not be saying anything about it. Maybe he, he's just real happy with Hawaii. He might just want to go surf. <laughs> yeah, the weather's <laughs> not bad. No, <laughs> yeah. but I was just like, because he's. The rumor I love it. Jordan. He runs. He runs a little upright. He's got the Marcus. Um, Next best place to go would be Arkansas, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know how to respond to that. Look at him. <laughs> you know, the weather's not quite like a No, <laughs> you can't surf. <laughs> but, yeah, Jordan ended up with 173 <laughs> yards to stay on 20 carries. So, you know, over eight bucks a shot. You got to love that. And, and he, he puts mm -hmm. the Eagles ahead 21-17. You're mm -hmm. like, okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Um that was nice. We kick off. And here we go again. You know, Allen's up 
Prosper goes another 12 play drive. And it's just like, guys. And it's so methodical. And you can just, you're just, there's just so many points where you go, make a stop, make a stop, make a stop. I can't wait till next year. Yeah. <laughs> I got really old this year. <laughs> you can't, you can't beat the bottle. And you're like, oh, and they score a touchdown. And so with 655 left in the game, it's back 24-21 prosper. <laughs> and you're like, okay, guys, what do you have? <clears throat> And what they had was a 75-yard drive um, where they went back to a little more traditional Allen offense, yeah. Yeah. mixing the pass uh, with the run. And, and we did get a couple – we got a couple good calls against the defense on that, yeah. on that series. Thank well, God. That one, yeah. And then you got some on the last drive, too, which we'll talk about. But yeah. it, it, um, it ended up being another Jordan Johnson touchdown, 10 yards out. Um with a minute three, I'm sorry, with a minute 57 left in the game. And when he made the corner, I leaned over to James and I said, because that was first down, or it was, it might, I, mean, I take that back, I may not, but I was like, maybe he'll get, because there was a guy around the two yard line that had a yep. chance. And I said, well, if they tackle him, that's fine. Because the one thing I was looking at that point was the clock. Clock. Yeah. Because yeah. you're like, okay. Less time, the better here. And I was kind of hoping he'd get tackled and they'd have to run another player. Team. Right. Right. Or at least you could have run, you know, 30 seconds off the clock. But at that point, it would have been first down. Yeah. And, you had plenty of time. Yeah. You had plenty of plays and plenty of time to score. You still had, you know, timeouts right. left. And you're just hoping, hey, but he scores. And you're like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You never turn down. A, no. You don't. Don't and turn you, down you points. Don't. And you're back up 28 24. With a minute 57 left to go. And then, I guess, how much time? Minute 57. Minute 57. It's kind of miraculous how much you can age in that time period, right? <laughs> Dude, this I is thought what the we, game was over. We thought this is what we felt like trying to watch the end yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Thad, you got to go. Oh, I got old quick. That was awful. <laughs> It does, man. It, it, the older we get, the older you feel. And it was just like, okay, defense, what do you have? Cooter the kickoff. <laughs> Every time I look at him, man. Almost, yeah, I heard about the short kickoff. I don't know. Again, we, we could ask coaches about it. They wouldn't. They won't tell us anything, guys. And we apologize for that, but coaches are very tight-lipped around here. Yeah. A minute 57 left in the game. In it, my it, mind, it's like make them drive as the far, far of the right, field. as you it, can. It was clearly a squib kick. Well, it didn't look like to be a mistake, but it looked like an onside squib kick. And, and to give them a short field, you hadn't stopped them all day. Uh, here, here's the thing, uh, like because the God, last take kick, that mask off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's freaking, weird. It's freaking out, isn't it? Weird. So the last <laughs> kick. We put it up in the air. Yep. yep. And we've seen many, 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 many times when you kick into the wind, as the ball's coming down, it, it comes does back. weird things. Yep. Soto, Skyline, yep. uh, even this year. Yep. When you kick it, it, it just comes down with that extra spin, it moves on you. And, you know, it at least would have been the 30-ish yep. instead of the 45-ish. You know. I take 30 over 45 yeah. every day. Yeah. Well, and, and clearly when they're kicking off, they're doing those pooches to keep the, the running backs and the return guys right. from potentially saying, okay, yeah. I'm going to take it all the way and Because that. as high as they were putting it, they were having a fair catch at every time. Yes. Yeah. And and I, I've admitted this all year. There's, there's, a, there's a method to that madness that I just don't get, mm -hmm. especially when, now again, we were kicking into the wind. When you got the win, we did. When you once. got the win, I think Caleb only kicked the ball once into the end zone. Yep. And and even even the games take this game out of it. Why we're not kicking the ball into the end zone and giving them a little twenty five, as opposed to the thirty, the thirty five, wherever they catch it on the on the. I don't get it. Yeah. And yeah. I, it it makes me wonder: Do you not trust your return your your coverage team? Yeah. Or or what is it? Because. I guess when you look around football, though, everybody's doing it. Yeah. Prosper did it all day yesterday. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of fair catches. And if you fair catch it inside the 25, it goes to the 25. Yeah. And if you – so, 
Why not kick it deep? Now, again, you were kicking into the wind yesterday, but why not do the pooch? Yeah. As opposed to a... And again, I don't know if that was an onside kick or whether it was a squib kick gone bad. Right. Which was intended to go further than the 15 yards that I, it did go. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would like to give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he, he may have mishit it a little bit. It should have went more... Because that was our left-footed kicker. Yep. Yeah. It, Kick it toward our sideline. I think it should have went a little bit further to the right, which would have put it around the yeah. 35 or so. But yeah. as it were, when he kicked it, it went right to their up man that yep. was on the second line, and yep. he was able to just get on it. And, and he actually returned it a few yards. So yeah, you're, you're yeah, looking right. at, you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, they've only got 55 yards to go. They do have to score a touchdown. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, okay, they haven't been able to score quickly all game. It's, it's been long, 10 play, 12 plays, you know, seven plays with their, right. was their shortest touchdown drive all day. They don't have a deep threat, no. or if they do, they haven't utilized them all game because that's not the way you beat Allen. You don't, <laughs> you don't try to launch it 40 yards downfield. When your TVs are playing <laughs> 10, 15 yards <laughs> off, yeah. it's hard know, to beat them. a little hard to beat them. Yeah. And so you're thinking, okay. Well, and to really break this series down, which it was kind of an important series, you know, they got a first down, was the first play in the series. Yep. And that was off a run. And so then they do an incomplete pass, and you think, okay, we at least got the second down. And then they do another pass. Two back-to-back -back plays. And he, he nails him. Yeah, he, he tackles the guy for a short game. Very short that's game. that's yeah. when it was third and long. the next pass. Right, the next pass. And then got him to fourth and six, six or six. so. Yeah. And... Barry goes back. Scrambles around. Nobody's open. He starts scrambling. And, and like someone said after the game, you got a quarterback that runs a five-flat 40. He's not like the fastest guy in the world. Yeah. And the DB broke off of his man before Barry got to the line of scrimmage. And it was close. He got, he got close to the line of scrimmage, but the DB broke to go get at the, him. At the threat of him running. At the yeah. threat of him running, left his man wide open, and he catches it. He runs all the way down to the – Five, six yard line. Yeah, yeah, but there there should have been a penalty on that play. Four. Number three, their receiver was blocking downfield and the ball was ah, past not in the, the line of scrimmage. Oh. It wasn't behind the line of scrimmage. Because oh. he turns around and he's true. got his hands up like this, like, I'm guilty, don't yeah. call it on me. <laughs> and if you go back and look. <laughs> That's well, the classic, I'm guilty, don't call it on me. Yeah. There, so Again, another example. But, for the refs having yeah. a really tough day. So, you got to play past the refs. So they get the so ball down running. to the Allen five or six yard line, and there's about a minute ten left. And Thad just looks at me and goes, "I'd let him score on the first play." Well, and I look, well, yeah, you might as well. And they didn't let him, but they did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they ran a little a, crossing route to number. Was it number three that caught that pass? Yeah, <laughs> that disastrous would have been. They have a that goal line stand at that point. Right. Yeah, we thought we had no up time a bunch left. Of time, yeah. So they score with a, a minute six left in the game. Minute three. Was it a minute three? Yes, sir. And so you go, all right, guys, what do you got? This is it. It's nut cutting time. And it's, so it's, they kick off. Yes, sir. They get the ball 25. They kick the ball deep. It's Imagine a mechanical turn. Yep. Turkey neck. With the wind, kicked it, With out, the the wind, back kicked it out of the back of the end zone. Allen gets the ball to 25. Gross. And I don't remember if it was on first or I think it was second down. Booty's looking to the sideline to get the play. And the ball is snapped. Uh. To the to the right of Booty. And it's just floating back there by itself. Uh. And that's when the old uh, reality set in. Uh, this could be oh a my God. Time yeah. leg <laughs> for everybody. And you think back, I was remembering the Hebron game when it was like it was clear we weren't going to win it back in 2010. And what what game were y'all thinking of? The the uh, Westlake. The Westlake game. Westlake game. Yeah. Playoff game. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, Allen doesn't lose many games. At most, we lose one game a year. I mean, when was the last year Allen lost two games? It's been a while. But it's it, been a long time. You're looking at third and close to 30. Yeah, it yeah. was a long way. And so you're like, okay, what do you got? I mean, we're in two down territory for sure. <laughs> what you got is Prosper being stupid. The biggest bonehead pass interference I've ever seen in my life. So Booty drops back. Yeah. Bryson runs a, a post route. And when he runs it, there's three. There are, there are three, three, three guys around him. 
and one and of them plastering. just decides, I'm going to take him out. <laughs> Stupid. It's, it's that 16, 17-year-old brain kicking in. Just lays him out, you know. And Pretty quick, we see the flag fly. Two flags. Two flags. So it wasn't like just one guy saw this one. Two guys saw this one. But then they have to conference. Conference about it. And they do call pass interference, automatic first down. You get bailed out. Doesn't take much time off the clock, so, you know, you're lucky that way. You didn't have to call a timeout when the, yeah. the center. And so somewhere in this progression, and it's it's hard to get every single play on a drive, the stats and all that, until you get to look at it again, and we have it. But Booty tries to throw the ball. Bryson runs a, a stop and go. Excuse me, not Bryson. Blaine runs a stop and go on the yeah. far sideline. Smart thing. And Booty throws it as far as he can. And again, the wind was, was strong enough that it was knocking it down. Well, Blaine stops and tries to come back for the ball. And gets blocked. The guy's gets, running through. Ran right through by the – flag comes out. Perfect. We get another 15-yard penalty here. Yeah. I know you don't. And the refs start talking. Well, you conference. know, I didn't see it that way. Oh, I'm so sorry. And that may have had something to do with it being on the Prosper side. Exactly, of right in front of the Prosper bench. They might have got an earful over there. Well, but it, but it, I don't it was, see it how. Was that same, it was that same uh, side judge that threw the flag. Yeah. The the other guy, the, the back, umpire or whatever, back, back judge. judge. Yeah, didn't throw I, it. I don't understand when you get plowed through. How that's not. Yeah. How it's not a penalty. Yeah. I mean, the guy wasn't playing the ball. Blaine was no. trying to come back for it, and he gets run over. And they wave it off, and I'm like, I don't, and you know, I'd, again, I'd love to pick those guys' brains. Again, they didn't have the best day, and they really screwed things up at the end. But it, it it's like, what, what were they thinking? When a lot of times, especially in games like this that are right, you know, before dinner time or whatever, the ref crew <laughs> will pick a restaurant. They have a favorite restaurant that they go to, and they will talk about the game <sighs> and review the game. And and what I wouldn't give to be a fly on that wall. Oh. I got to tell you all this. I went over to see Brandon Weber after the game, and we're, we're sitting there talking, and this car drives up, and it's a man and a woman, and the guy rolls down his window, and he goes, um, do you know where the referee locker room is? <laughs> 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 and I don't know who this guy was. And I was like, well, it's it's under the stadium. I said, but I don't think they're coming out till everybody leaves. <laughs> had, had a rope with them too, didn't he? I don't know. I, I, I don't would, know what I they would were venture a guess that they came out early, went to the cars, boom, gone. They actually, I saw two of them uh, as I was leaving, which was late. They they came out. They, they still to. had their striped pants on. Mm -hmm. The temptation was there. State trooper escort. Uh, the temptation was there. I'll just say that. But I drove away nicely. Um, so. Allen still has the ball. They're still, you know, time's running off the clock. They they have a second or third down. I don't know which one it was. They throw a bubble screen to Bryson, and Bryson mans up yeah. and says, oh, big time. I'm getting this first down. Takes him an extra five, six yards. Yeah. Takes Three him into Prosper territory. And Allen just keeps doing what Allen does. They have timeouts. They use them efficiently. Um, and they drive down. You know, to the six-yard line. Well, let's back up. All right, back it up. Then Prosper had the second biggest bonehead play. I forgot about this. And booty, we got to talk about booty, it. I don't know if it was a scramble or what, a design run, but they, they're they driving him backward. It was like third, three or four, third and one. Yeah. Three or four guys. Mm -hmm. And they had him stopped. Yep. Mm -hmm. The yeah, whistle blew, too. Curricular activity. Yeah, and, and the and whistle blew. The whistle blew and blew and blew. And they threw him down. And the, yeah. Most of the guys that were hanging on him let go, but one guy decided, okay, I'm going to power slam him. And it was and the referee was 20 yards. He, he was reaching so he couldn't get his flag out. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. But he finally like, oh, got it out, you know. Stuck. No, this is no lie. If you, can, if you find that play, it was 20 yards behind yeah. the line of scrimmage. And, and, and then he looked at him like. And then the Prosper fans are booing. Yeah. yeah. A bunch of rednecks need to go back up to 380. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was so mad at them folks. They, they, they're living off grandma and grandpa's farm. So. Did you just hear him call them what? They, they think they're what just. in the wide, wide just, world of so, I, I was just fed up because, you know, they, they think their poo don't stink. Well, and if you're going to boo anything. They love joy people. That ain't one that you boo because that was just so obvious and yeah, blatant. I mean. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe as many whistles as you heard. Well, well they, they had multiple referees a couple of them let go. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. But the one kid just wasn't going to do it. And then he just slams him down. Yeah. And so, well, hello. You want to get on this thing? Come here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's in the picture. Or she's in the picture now. We have a cat that just showed up. So. Oh, oh, God. Here it goes. Hey, what you doing? What happened to the rest so, of the So, yeah, that's yeah. an automatic first down. Yeah. And so you're, you're down there. Damn. And you get down to the, you know, the six-yard line with, with six, or excuse me, the, yeah, the six-yard line, or the one-yard line. God, what was it? I'm losing my well, mind. Well, we ran another. We ran another uh, quarterback sweep, and yes, Booty gets it. to the one. Thank you. And they call timeout, <clears throat> our last timeout. Now, that doesn't have the penalties, but, yeah. Yeah. They missed those. They were too excited up in the press box. So you have <laughs> – I'm sorry, guys. I'm just reading this real quick. So you get down second and ten at, the, at Prosper's 48. Booty pass complete to Bryson for six. Third and four, booty pass complete to Bryson for 26 yards. Yeah, he, he that was broke. a big pass. Yeah, down to the 20 yard line. That was a little stop route or yeah. something. So, yeah, first and 10 at Prosper 20, booty rushes for three. Second and seven, booty rushes for 11 down to the six yard line. Right. So, you have first and goal, and booty rush five to the one. Well, we made them burn their last timeout. Yep. Because we, we had called timeout, and we had the regular offense out there. Well, when we went back out, we went with the seven offensive linemen, and so they had to burn a timeout because they weren't, ready, they weren't for ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> and so with 10 seconds left in the game, you got first and goal and at the one. At the one, yeah. And so – First and goal. With how many seconds left? Ten. Ten, ten. ten seconds. And they did c call a timeout right there. Yeah. And just before we snapped it, and you could see – we actually did snap it, and Booty mm. stepped two steps back, and I turned to, I turned to Thad, yeah. and I said they were going to throw the ball. Yeah, Allen, Allen had said, fade to the corner to Green. He called it. He sure did. So. And they called timeout. We went back up, ran the same exact play, and uh, Bryson did his best CD Lamb interpret. Yeah, <laughs> imitation yeah. there. Went up. He high. elevated. He elevated. Brought it down. High was, and backward. Yep. Yeah. Tucked it in, landed, held onto the ball, and the place erupted. Yeah. Um, and we were and told. I, I still didn't think it was over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we I, we were told on that play that they practice that all the time. And it just becomes automatic. Well, the, for booty the quarterback and, just throws it to the pile. The yeah. And throw and it to the spot. The, and he throws to the spot, and it's the receiver's job to get there. And well, then booty was under pressure. Yeah, he, he barely got that throw he did. off. I mean, he had to throw and kind he of duck at clean. the same time. Yeah, yeah. Well, hello. Um, so, yeah, Allen goes up with six seconds left. And you're thinking, okay. What could possibly go wrong? What happens now? <laughs> <laughs> the kickoff. How could 2020 show up at the end and of I, this game? And I will give Prosper <laughs> credit on this because we've all watched a lot of football. Why? And that play that Prosper ran, it's its its actually not hard to explain, but it's... Um, <laughs> they built the wall, that's for sure. Failure to complete. Quarterback drops. It, and I'm going to... want After this play, remind me to talk about defensive strategy on this play because Allen does what most teams do. They drop people 40 yards off the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. A little prevent. Yep, because... Yep. There's far enough away. I mean, they're at the 25 or whatever it was, 30 yard line, that you're not going to get a hail mary. Yeah. Because um, you can't reach the end zone. But and you got to figure you, they've got one play. They there, do. There's no second. No. Six seconds left. You've got one play. And so the quarterback drops back. He hits a receiver coming from the left side of the formation, mm -hmm. who then laterals to the the receiver from the other side of the formation, coming back to the to the left. He laterals to him. At which point he laterals to the quarterback who has now come to that that right side. In the meantime, because you're not paying attention to what everybody else is doing, every one of their linemen has gone to the left side of the field. Yeah. And there's two receivers so on running six, back. Six to seven guys over blocking on and that one other, other side. guy over there. The quarterback then turns and throws the ball to that side Long of the field. Long pass to the other side. And you look up and you're like, holy crap, they got blockers everywhere. Half our guys are on this side of the field. Because they've been chasing what's going on over here. James has the play right here. We, we have pictures and illustrations and everything. Yeah. And it, um, 
the guy catches it. Yeah. Takes about two steps, and the line judge on that side of the field blows his whistle. And goes incomplete pass. Calls it dead. Because it touched the ground. But it's... Not realizing it was a backward pass. Yeah, it's a lateral. And you're like, uh-oh. What just happened there? And and there was a lot of that going on. And, and of course, Allen erupts, runs onto the field. We won the game, yeah. thinking yeah. it's over. Coaches go out to break up some shenanigans that were going on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. And the referees tell everybody to get off the field, and they they realize. And and if you go back and look at the video, the the side judge the side judge realizes he's made a mistake. Takes his hat, and puts his hands over his face, and just like, oh, what have I done? And no one knows because no one knows whether they would have scored on that play or not. It was set up very well. Yeah, there still was some Allen defenders over there, and oh, we had we had a number of defenders that were in good position. And they still had to go, when you look at this picture, 65 yards. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a long way. It it's is a, a long, long way. way. And. There would have had to have been at least one more lateral. After a think. huddle. Hey. Um, they decide, we're going to give them another play. And I know, and I'll be honest with you, I was like. No, you were yelling, no, <laughs> no. I wasn't the only one. <laughs> Unprecedented. Yeah, because any time that I've seen on TV, college, pro, when an inadvertent whistle happens, sorry. Welcome to Arkansas football. football. You ran the play. You ran the play. Done. We call it. Auburn game. Yeah. We we, oh. we messed up, but now, let me it guess. is what it is. You know the answer. Was it that the game can't end on a? No. Okay. No, and, and what happened, I got home last night, and I'll, I'll give a shout-out to Neil Riddick. <laughs> Challenge. He, he says, I have no idea what happened on that last play, but listen to the Baldy Neal's podcast tomorrow. They'll tell you what it was. <laughs> so thanks, Neil, for making me have to do homework last night. <laughs> but I did. I went and looked. I pulled up the Texas High School Football Rule Book. And I – hi, baby. I got a kitty cat. We got friends. Um, for those of you who, who have never read – the Texas High School rule, rule book. It covers a lot. It, and I'm, I'm a CPA, but I don't do taxes. But it reminded me a lot of tax code. Mm -hmm. Because the way tax code is written, you have a, a tax law, and then you have 7,000 exceptions to it, which most people call loopholes. Kind of like Congress. But that's that's what this is. And I had to get through it, get through it, get through it to, to find, because there's so many. They do like every scenario where there's an inadvertent yeah. whistle. So you had to find the one where. Yep. And it says, during a legal forward pass or during a legal kick, if there is an IW, they call it, inadvertent whistle, and that was a legal forward pass, even though, you know, that was a lateral and everything. Well, actually, it's the next one. If there's a backward pass, fumble, a legal forward pass, or a legal kick, and um, an inadvertent whistle occurs while the ball is still loose, ignore everything I just said. Um, no, I'm not saying didn't. The team who lost possession like can choose code. to take the ball to the spot where they lost the ball or to replay the down. And so if you have a forward pass, it says and an inadvertent whistle happens, the down must be replayed if all penalties are declined. In this case, there were no penalties, no options. So if a player is in possession of a ball when an inadvertent whistle occurs, the team in possession can choose to take the ball at the spot where the whistle was blown or to replay the down. So in, okay. in Texas high school football, which is based off NCAA rules, but there Modified. are lots of exceptions. Yep. And that's the book. This is what happens. And so, as bad as the officials were, in my opinion, during the game, they got that one right. Yeah. And it didn't take them that long to figure it out either. Yeah. It, like pass interference. Yeah. <laughs> it, it took the fans more, because I've never heard of that before. I've never seen it and, and never heard of it. And so... To have an inadvertent whistle on that play, yeah, it, it, it might have cost Prosper because that play was set up well, and, and maybe or maybe not they made it. Never know. But they get another play. And yeah. so you're like, well, here you go. And for those of us who, who did not know the rule, yeah, everybody's pretty upset. Well, for anybody at Prosper that thinks that that cost them the game, the penalty for throwing our quarterback down, that probably cost them the game. Man, you can't you – can't, key off of one play one instance it's got you got to look at the whole entire game yep 
it was it was crazy. What? So they get another play and they run the exact same same, same exact play. Same. Except when the quarterback throws it back across the field this time, the receiver jumps for it. It goes through his hands. Bumbles it. Allen picks it up. It rumbles and stumbles and tries their best to score and, and gets tackled basically on the one-yard line. Yeah. And so Allen wins the game. Pandemonium breaks out. A lot of anger on the field between coaches at that point. That was fun to watch. And a lot of hollering and yelling going on. And um but at the end of the day, Allen comes away with a victory in a hard fought 35 31 game. Hi, baby. And it's, uh, it was a gut check. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I, I was talking to Steve DeWitt coming down, and he, got, he made a good statement about, well, you don't want the very first time that you're tested to be in the playoffs. No. And so that was a, a good yep. game for Allen to, to both win and. Hopefully, to survive and, gain and triumph. something from and yeah. move forward. So it You're right that it clinched Allen a share of the district title at least, at least, which is their fifteenth straight. Still got to beat Braswell. Braswell this week, seven o'clock Thursday night at Collins. Yep, is that right? Ch Collins up there on in the loop. Newton. It's going to be cold. I think the highs are in the forties on Thursday. Okay. So dress warmly. And uh, what it's um, it's an opportunity to see a Braswell team, which has been up and down all year too, because this is a team that beat Prosper forty-one twenty-four, and it's a team that lost to McKinney Boyd, scoring ten <laughs> points. They have a very good offense, averaging almost five hundred yards a game. They got two receivers that you know are in the top ten in, in the area. Their quarterbacks number four in the area. He's got you know twenty-five hundred yards passing with twenty-four touchdowns. For a team that doesn't defend the pass well, this this is going to be very interesting it's to watch. It's going to be a challenge. Yeah, maybe the wind will be blowing it, be really, really, really cold, Ooh. and it, it affect them more than it will us. Yeah, it could be. You yeah. know, and Allen could play the game. And that'd be fun. Yeah, keep, keep the ball away from them. It may yeah. be one of yeah. those. You know, use that running game uh, that's been yeah. so efficient. Depending on how their run defense is, yeah, yeah, well, that's possible. They've given up a lot of points too. So yeah. Anyhow, that'll that'll close out the district. When it when it gets down to the playoff scenario, we've we've analyzed it. Allen did clinch uh, the top seed for for D one yep. in our district, which means they will play big schools. Yep. Here are the options. Updated weather forecast for Thursday. Yes. Light snow flurries. Thirty. Hey. <laughs> awesome. I'll be wearing my Nanook of the North jacket and hood. Wow. That'll be great. That's Ooh, fun weather. My, my full but only weather. a nine mile an hour Shoot. wind. So oh. Oh. only, only. So we looked at District Six Six A, which which there were so many options last week we couldn't figure it out, and even it, it comes down to the final week. And uh, yeah. Allen will either play Louisville, Coppell, or Plano West, yeah. uh, depending upon what happens. Or three other teams. Yeah. <laughs> Bring, there, bring them on. There's a lot just, that just, goes on. Just bring them on. Yeah. Um, so Allen being the the top seed of the D1, yep. the big schools. Yep. We end up playing the second seed. We're in five six A. We'll play the second seed or the runner up in the big schools. Yep. From six six A. Right. Whoever that is. Which could be one, either one. Coppell, of those three Lewisville, games. or Plano West. Yep. So, and I would take either one of you, any of those three opponents. You're going to have to. Happily. (laughs) Because they're all coming. (laughs) Happily. One of them's coming. But Uh, we got a playoff spot, right? Yes. You're clinched. You clinched last week. You clinched Clinched. the title this week. Yeah, there was some clinching. So that was fun yesterday. Why don't you call her up? We're going to try to call somebody here who showed up to the game yesterday. And and while we're we're doing that, I want to say something about poor – Joe Hoyt, who moved down here from Oregon. Thank you, Joe, for, for covering the game, putting all that video up. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the stats that, that, that Dallas News puts out. And and you don't You're realize how you annoying know. it is until you, you hear the video the and the screaming homers that are in the press box. For all the press, we're so sorry that those okay. people just, are mixed in with listen. you. But yeah. it just – it is what it is. It is what it is. Do we have a guest? Darla? Yes. You got the I'm Bald here. Eagles? Good morning. Hey, how are good morning. you? Good morning. I am wonderful. That's all good to hear. So so it's the day after. 
and and we wanted just to take now you're on the air so watch your language we, we, we'll have to beep you okay <laughs> sure <laughs> but uh we just wanted to check in with you see and talk a little bit about your experience yesterday i, I still can't breathe <laughs> <laughs> well is that because of david's chili or the ball game <laughs> Well, I I did not know this because we've we've known of you and, and been around you for years. But but it, it was surprising to to me and I guess the rest of us yesterday that you had never been in Eagle Stadium. I had not. I had driven by when they were building it, and David and Jackie were so excited about it and telling me about the progress of it because I don't live near there. Right. And uh, so I was very excited to be able to attend a game in the stadium and get the full experience and oh my gosh what a game <laughs> yeah you you came to a good game so so yes. you you live in east texas right i do near tyler okay so so this is the first time in eagle stadium so when you walk in and and you you look around do, do you think high school football no it's just ma i think massiveness isn't it, it crazy it's just massive <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful. Looks just like Tyler Rose Stadium. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not quite a comparison there, but. <laughs> yeah, and, and the situation this year obviously is a little different. The experience is different because obviously the number of people there is, you know, reduced so much. But, you know, we all sat up in the in, in 204, you know, higher up and in midfield like. And so you got to see pretty much everything. And you got to experience, which, uh, which a lot of fans know, was the band. Being on the other oh, side yes. of the field, you could hear. Yes. Which uh, yes. a lot of, when they're down in their normal section in 101, um, you, you can't because they're they're obviously playing the other way to the other side of the field. So that was that was yes. cool for you to be able to do that. Yep. Um, yes. So what did you think of the game? Oh, my gosh. They would score and we would score. And they would score and we would score. And it got down to where... Prosper scored, leaving a minute and six on the on the clock, and I'm just like, I've been praying so hard. I thought the Allen Eagles have not lost a home game that cannot lose this game, and if they lose this game, it's because I'm here and I'm bad luck. That's what I was <laughs> and that would have been true. <laughs> we would have never <laughs> let you come back. <laughs> I know, and I never would have lived that down with David, especially. Yeah. So, I mean, I was praying so hard, Lord Jesus, you cannot let. The Eagles lose this game. They cannot lose this game. And lo and behold, they come back and score with like six seconds left on the clock. And we were all just ecstatic. My heart stopped beating, I think, 15 times. I asked Jackie if she knew CPR because I was going to need it. And, uh, I, I'm just telling you, it was the one of the best high school games. My high school, Van High School, won state in 19... Uh, 89 mm -hmm. i'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry 1979 okay and um that was a fantastic game but yesterday's game i think even beat that one so just totally awesome the guys were great i met some of the football players after the game that was that was another highlight of the day yeah so. we yes, want to talk did. about that a little bit because i was huh? we were doing our typical thing we stay after the game and we talk to the players and yes. they come out and and uh the Green Twins came out, and they always talked to us, and, and I know you got to meet them, and they gave you a big old hug. Yes. But, yes. Then, but then a little a little guy named General Booty walks out. Yes. And I, I was, he was standing by me, and I saw you creeping up on him here. Yes. And I was, I was like, like, creeping, I'm sorry. No, 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 <laughs> just, you know, inching closer. Yeah, I, I laid around. Okay, said, there you go. I said, you got a fan that wants to meet you, sir. <laughs> and so... Yes. He, you know, oh, that was funny. I, that was. You got to meet him, and you got your picture made with with him and the Green Twins, and you absolutely, know, you have that memory forever. So I'm glad they were they were cordial, and and those are good kids, absolutely. though. Yeah. Well, who in their lifetime ever gets to meet a young man named General Booty? I mean, that will <laughs> never ever in my lifetime happen again. So <laughs> you have. A, I was impressed, and he one. was a very nice, polite young man. He and was, did a yeah. great job. He did. Playing his quarterback position yesterday, so. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad Very you impressed. got to beat him. That was fun watching. We we had a good time. Yes. Giggling. So anyhow, we just wanted to check in with you and uh, see how your experience went. And we thank you for dropping in on our podcast. 
That, well, I'm still she on the cloud very first 50, female so. on the podcast. You know what? Uh, Thad just brought up a point. I don't think you heard him. Thad, say that again. No. You have the distinct honor of being the very first female to add class to our podcast. Oh, okay. I am very yeah. honored. Thank you, guys. Or was Jackie? <laughs> Is Jackie better? <laughs> You know? No, she's been here okay. listening. She's been here listening. You are it. So you are our female oh guest number one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We, we don't normally guys. give. Yeah, we, we don't normally give girls a speaking role. In this, in this. <laughs> oh. I'm moving. Oh, Lee, I'm special. I'm moving. <laughs> no, you're 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 sweet. This is we, an we love boys you. club. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. I love you guys. Well, we love I you too. I your Facebook page this morning and joined your group. So oh. All right. I approved my request and. Yeah, yeah, Mark, on get on the stick. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm in the middle of something right now, Darla. Come on, girl. Right. So we don't get that many friend requests on our group. Yeah. Oh, how funny. Well, thanks for dropping in with us, and you have a good rest of your day. All right. Oh, y'all too. You guys are awesome. Keep up your tailgating and supporting the Allen Eagles. They're great. All right. Thank you, Darla. Go Eagles. Love you guys. Love you Bye. 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 That was sweet of her to drop in. So. Well, guys, we've got one more week of regular season. God, it's December already. We're still talking regular season. Unbelievable. It's just so freaking weird. It is yeah. weird. And, you know, and, and I know all of us are God-fearing men, and we pray a lot. And, and we need to continue because if you look around the state, you know, this COVID crap is so many games are being canceled, and so many teams are losing playoff games. I mean, it's it's that situation now. I ask the lack of players. I asked the question yesterday, what happens if you have COVID? And they said it's a forfeit. It's and a so – that could happen. It's getting serious now. Going forward, and you, you just for these kids and, and for all you know for all high school kids that are playing ball, you you want to yeah. see them be able to finish a season in in a in a really tough environment. So state um, champs going to have an asterisk. It might, but it should. You know what? You still got to you play who you play. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. wouldn't that be something? You get a state championship game and somebody has to forfeit. Mm. Can you imagine? Wow. That'd be brutal. <laughs> That'd be brutal. But it's a possibility. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, if if you're, I think Jerry would refund ticket money. <laughs> they haven't said where they're playing it yet. Yeah, that's true. It so may not be at Jerry. It may not be at Jerry. I, I highly doubt it'd be multi-game. Oh, well, they're remote. only doing two. Yeah. And the first one's at eleven, and the second one's at seven. So yeah, it's so not back to back. They're yeah. trying to limit the crowd. They're not, yeah, they're not. Mm. They're, they're kicking everyone out. Yep. And they're where? Well, it's depending on where they do. Okay. It. My understanding is they're going to kick everyone tickets out. per game. Yeah, it's got ticket per game. So that way we can all like huddle around the entrances. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Smart. So, folks, what a great game! What a great way to end a Thanksgiving weekend! And and thank you guys for pulling it out. Gut check time. Yeah, um, it was. Thank you to the coaches and the players, Allen Eagles. And wow. before we go, we would be very remiss if we didn't give another shout out to our good buddy, Randy Bridges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Randy did a his toughy tune this week, and and again. We have a lot of conversations with a lot of different people about a lot of different things. And if you listened to the podcast last week, you heard us talk about the lack of popcorn at McKinney Stadium, but they did have Skittles. Yeah. And so if you look at Randy's Tuffy Tune this week, he made a box of popcorn with our logo on it. And then he, as the drizzle over the Prosper Eagle that was the turkey, <laughs> he put Skittles all over the plate. And, you know, he talked about Dr. Pepper and, and just it was for us, it was classic. It was the inside joke. Thank yeah. you, Randy. So, Randy, and it was a, not so inside now. It was nope. it was great, and we appreciate you doing that. And uh, just the creativity of your mind. We still need to get you out here to talk about that, and because your your mind is kind of like all of ours warped in so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> but he's able to put it on paper. He and is. Express yeah, it. he is. <laughs> We're a little better. He's able time. to do something with it where the rest of us aren't. So. Thursday night, 7 o'clock, Collins Stadium in, in Denton. It's Allen versus Denton Braswell. Uh, see if these Eagles can finish off this regular season undefeated. Yep. So we'll see those of you who make it there. So until next time, anybody got anything? Nope. All right. Nope. Allen, we miss you. Hope your family got to the airport safe. So until next time, guys, it's over and we're out.